Kelly Moran, 793 Operating Engineers, and I'm here as the tower crane operator. To move material around site, um, and primarily here on this job, to take material from the ground and get it up to the working deck on the jump forms for the tower. Well, depending on how I'm feeling, it could take anywhere between five minutes to 15 minutes. So usually 15 minutes. Tower crane is currently sitting at 240 feet and will be going up to 760 feet. The jib is your horizontal boom, everything forward of the cab. That's what we call the jib, the forward jib. You can take 43,000 pounds out to the end of the jib. Well, it's structurally designed that it can handle those capacities, say about halfway. And then after that, it basically turns into a balancing act where you're relying on the counterweight on the back jib uh, to balance you out as you're trolling the load out. Well, you definitely have to be careful of icing in the wintertime because that can be dangerous when it's falling um, from the tower or the jib. Also high winds, um, you get to a certain point where you have to shut down hoisting operations. For us, it'd usually be around 32 mile per hour. Um, and at that point, we actually have to kick the brakes off and allow the crane to weather vane. So uh, you're minimizing the resistance and not putting so much torque on the tower itself. Really the biggest concern for the heat would probably be for the operator at that point. And yeah, we, we have climate control in the cab, which is good. There's safe areas that you can be in where you have a uh, handrail all the way around, um, resting platforms, but there's other times when you're doing inspections, maintenance or repairs, uh, where you have to get out into some of the more dangerous areas. And, and in that event, you definitely have to be tied off 100%, usually twice actually. A good crane operator is definitely a safe crane operator. Um, focus, I would say, patience at times, attention to detail. There's two different apprenticeships. There's the mobile crane apprenticeship and the tower crane apprenticeship. Um, both require um, anywhere between 3,500 to 6,000 hours of training accompanied with trade school. Probably the views when it comes to the tower and um, also believe it or not, as noisy as it can be down here, it's always really quiet up there. Magnitude of the project, the, the, the sheer size of the project, the scale of the project, that makes it uh, much different, quite possibly a once in a lifetime opportunity for myself and most of the guys that are here.